Welcome. Wow, we are here. Eva Muna is our future class with walls of fire. We're surrounded by holy walls of fire. If we would be able to see the spiritual realms, this wouldn't be something I'd have to explain. You'd, you'd all be aware, including myself. And the reality is that we learn these beautiful ideas from our righteous teachers, especially Rev Shalom Orish. We are here in this beautiful, beautiful studio. We're so happy to return to the Jerusalem studio. It was a beautiful class last night. We have to give a big thank you, Hashem. Thank you to the studio team. Thank you to the Wine Red Brothers and the new band, Shtetl. An awesome, awesome band. It was awesome energy, and it gave us the power to really build an amazing, amazing, amazing class. Last night with Amuna as our future, we had the opportunity to enter into the realm of Amuna Global, as we spoke about in our previously mentioned Amuna class, weekly class. Last week in my home, we brought out the light of Hanukkah, the Zos Hanukkah, the climax of Hanukkah. And as Wine Red Brothers so beautifully mentioned, that we have the power to bring this light with us into the new time period that we're going. We are in the time period of Chodesh Tevas, the month of Tevot, Tevas, and we're also in the month of Shvat coming up. These two months are difficult months. They're the months of the long days of the winter. It gives us the power to tune into the hidden light, the inner light, the light, the awe of our soul, and to have a power from that energy and spiritual devotion to our inner mission of reality that we are not alone. We have to understand that we're never alone. We're united souls. We're joined together on a true level. We're never in a feeling of depression, God forbid. We're always trying to generate that warmth and that light that we felt this Hanukkah. This is the mindset that we have to go ahead. And there's nothing better than we come to Pasha's Vayichi Yaakov and we enter into the Siam, the completion of Sefer Barashas, Shabbos Chazak. Shabbos Chazak is a time to really join together as a human presence of oneness, of unity, of unification of soul. That there's a tremendous revelation from Yaakov Avinu in this week's Pasha, our Holy Father, Jacob. Hello, yes, people are reaching out with some fire and energy. And Yaakov reminds us that we're souls, that we have a purpose. And this is something which can impact our daily life, not just in the in the theory or theoretical, but should be something that we live with and experience. That's our hope that the Amunah classes impact the reality. I apologize, Ryan. Amunalive.com has been uh, not working 100% the website, so we're just getting that fixed and updated, hopefully, for 2022. And we have their ability to constantly partner with us so we can impact us in a practical sense. In the meanwhile, we can all join together through the, all the other platforms that are functioning. Thank God, the YouTube, the Facebook, the Instagram, the TikTok, everything has been going ahead full steam now. Now that we're after Hanukkah, there's a lot of light to bring down and share together. Thank God we have the opportunity to get this class again on the website on breslev.com. And please God, it will go up on one eventually on the newer website, the newer version, the 0.3 or 3.0 version. We're excited to get there and eventually see that happen in real time. But until then, we have another Muna class hopefully coming this Sunday. We have a few guests. We're debating who to bring us to Daniel. This in black. Uh, he's back from his tour in the US. Thank God already. He's flying hopefully in the next day or so. It was a tremendous uh, achievement. What he did, three weeks of inspiration, hearing only good feedback online. As a student of the Rav, we always wish him success. And especially with the Amuna music that's generated by our friends like Yosef Daniel and Nissen Black and wonderful music we, we welcome and hope to see more and more online is the Shtetl band. It was just tremendous energy generated. And we see that there were music there's a lot of warmth and fire that we could bring with us when you're listening on your on your phone or whatever it is you have nowadays to generate that kind of vibe as you're going around in your daily life to bring the music of Amuna with you so that we're replacing it as Gedali Fence is so well put that we shouldn't be listening to music that's damaging to the soul we should listen to music that uplifts the soul and gives us energy to do our voda to do our holy service and I'm holding right now being that 
myself is in a transition point after being in the Hanukkah world, in the world of light. I was traveling myself for a few weeks and I wasn't able to enter into this holy studio until yesterday, until we finally got the merit to sit with Rav Oresh and hear from him about important points of how to help ourselves overcome the Eight Sahara. And we have to understand that in this time of year, there's a there's a cold Eight Sahara. We have different types of Eight Sahara. There's Eight Sahara of, of warmth, of fire, passions and desires and then there's a yet of calling us off like the the force of amalek tries to cause call us off so we have to tune in to the ame kulam sadiqim there's that inner light the inner truth that we all have and everyone has within them that gives us the warmth and the, the passion for yiddishkeit for vodas hashem for truth for muna and this is our amuna class where we're building around ourselves walls of fire why because we're being constantly attacked on a certain level there's a tremendous amount of outside distraction and noise that's constantly trying to take us away from our purpose our mission and that's what Yaakov in this week's Pasha reminds all his sons as he calls to them Shema Yisrael and they call back to him Shema Yisrael Shema Lekeinu Shema Chad and we know that that oneness that unification that truth of reality that we're really bound to an ultimate oneness of it with Hashem Yisbarach with our Creator that Muna, that everything's from Hashem that everything happens is for the good and Hashem loves us all the beautiful sayings that Rav Oresh has been teaching us these last few months we have the power to tune in to that Amuna truth and that gives us a fire, a passion, and an energy, as chaskus, as it says, a tremendous strengthening and encouraging of on the soul level and on the practical level that we can give over much more soul connection to the people around us. As a Y Jacobson was talking about in last week's partial, that we have to understand that Kashur Nafsho, that we have a Kesha Nefesh to the people around us, tremendous deep soul connection to our soulmates, and that's something we're discussing in our Relationship Flow podcast, that we're tuned in to the soul level of the people who we love, our, our spouse, please God, our friends, all the different family and people that so we surround ourselves in our sphere of influence. I've been discussing this in our United Souls course, which I want to remind everyone that we have the climax for 2021 coming together, United souls please god we're going to be going ahead of pov edu a tremendous class with internalization it's very important after learning so much together and going through say for example this whole safe abracious the beginning of the Torah, the first book and going together with all our avas kadoshim and imas kadoshim with the holy righteous mothers and fathers to be able to internalize all these wonderful teachings so they should become part of our soul part of our being so we should think in that way it shouldn't just be some external experience we could have a nice chillin on shabbos or you know if if whatever we're doing it if we're not Jewish, for example, we're having inspiration from these classes, but we don't know how to place it practically. We have to get those tools. And that's one of the things I do in my course, United Souls course, I try to bring it into a real time, real way that it should affect our relationships in a positive, profound way that we should realize that we have the fuel and the energy to be able to empower our relationships with a kind of love and i know that i'm personally not always living up to this but that's why it's so important to constantly go together on a weekly level and learn these things learn together with rav Roish. we want the rav himself wants us to be weekly this came up in the previous week unfortunately it was a bit of a mistake from the studio but we had and just being very straight there was a class that went up and it was about myself without any guests and the the point of from the rav was he wanted to have a class but didn't go to its full strength it wasn't the full amount of time and it made it made it didn't seem like the full energy of what we're trying to do here we're trying to create not just a Buddha classes with the rub but we want to bring together unity with all the different people all the guests all the personalities all the souls we want us to go global that we don't want the rub's message to just stay with the current students the job the job of the current students is to get the message global and that's what we bring in more personalities more energy more music more soul to the class not because the rav himself is missing anything the rav's teachings are, are thank god are everything we need the garden of Muna to really all the books are there to really help us but just to bring that collaborative energy it creates a tremendous 10x power on the class and it's something which i've learned from being in the music world and the business world we understand that when we collaborate right now i was talking to some people about a massive concept to bring a a sort of focus in on some of these massive causes like uh, fighting poverty and fighting the uh, 
God forbid, we should never know, but the whole child's racketeering world where they're taking children for children pornography, God forbid, and they're selling children on this this whole reality that's out there. There's there's charities, thank God, that are fighting this as personalities, individuals who are fighting this whole negative reality of lack of sustenance, lack of, of abundance for people. There's thank God there's charities out there who are stopping this this child child porn industry, at least trying to stop it. And there's there's thank God there's so many charities trying to develop resources that people should have everything they need educationally and emotionally and musically and spiritually and all the different levels and as we are doing right here in Chesed, but we have to realize that it needs to be done on a larger scale because we need to impact change on a global level and that's my hope i was speaking to some very big people out there bringing some very famous celebrities into very big shows and it was an opportunity for me to join with those people hopefully in the in the near future with thank god my past i grew up with people who headed you know live aids the one of the largest concerts ever in history that impacted the whole of Ethiopia and gave sustenance for thousands and thousands of people and brought an opportunity for the world to have more of awareness of the, of the poverty that goes on in the world and that there could be partners in that. And my family, thank God, were involved in the promotion and the production and, you know, they put together with Sobol Gertov, one of the largest events that really impacted and, and showed that music and unity is something in the general world can have an impact in a positive way through getting rid of of the the tremendous poverty that's existed over the many years in the, in many countries and there is an increase in wealth thank god in the world even though people always talk and i was listening to dr jordan peterson about this that they always talk about on a negative level that there's a lack of sustenance there's a lack of warmth a lack of love a lack of energy that the world needs to be completely stripped swept over and undone and all the systems and everything's wrong and always going negative 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 and this is part of why we need these walls to protect us from this kind of negative energy that's out there that we have to understand it's a tremendous amount of blessing as Rav Oresh always taught and has been teaching us and me personally that we live in a land of abundance there is a swell tremendous blessing and abundance it reminds me of Shlomo Katz Rav Shlomo Katz who I will have the pleasure please God the Shabbos to join his community in a frat please God with my family I'm very excited to go first time I'm having Shabbos in a frat and have the opportunity to experience some of the abundance that's been going on in the frat community community there for his new shul and his and all the other people there and there's tremendous abundance going on in Eretz as well and that's the mindset of such people like Rav Oresh and Shlomo Katz that we have to realize there's blessing in the land and that we can make Aliyah successfully and personally I've been here over 20 something years as I already just mentioned previously we celebrated my 20th anniversary and I've lived thank God most of those 20 years being married in Yushalayim and my time in Eretz well, mostly in Jerusalem and I want to thank Hashem that I get to live in the holiest city I get to come together with you guys and do a class in the holiest place in the world and as a that the, the Torah comes out from this place and it's an opportunity for us together on a communal level to share this message, to get it out there, that we are surrounded by walls of holiness. For example, let's give some examples. When you get married, please God, all of you out there, thank God to be married 20 years, as I mentioned, you go into the chuppah, this, this canopy, and it represents this, this heavenly realm that leads you Lamala, Labav, the marriage needs the Shekhinah Kadosh, needs these, these spiritual aspects to go to the success, to join two souls together, that they're, they're from a higher realm, this Ches, this, this Ches, this Olam Hashmini, this higher realm, bringing that light into the marriage, and you're standing in this chuppah, in this canopy, and the wife, she goes round and round, the soulmate, the color, the bride, she goes round and round, the husband, seven times and it builds walls of fire around the husband to protect him no matter what and bring the shechina kadosha excuse me i haven't had time really to eat even today even though it's a fast day tomorrow and we'll mention that in a minute the idea that the wife's building these walls and this is an opportunity for us <clears throat> to have this heavenly protection so no matter where i traveled in the last few weeks i was traveling to london then back to manchester then to london and Eretz as well <clears throat> and with all the current corona restrictions and obstacles i had the opportunity personally to overcome that 
that destructive or destructive even forces out there and able to have that heavenly protection wherever I went and I was able to make it back just like we went on our Muna tour to Miami, New York and there's requests already to bring Rav Oresh to LA, Los Angeles hopefully in January and Arizona we have to finalize that please go to Mexico exactly when in January and the Shabbos is we'll probably be there for one Shabbos and then during the week and there's another request in February to go to be in the UK to Manchester, London we have to finalize it's up to you guys guys to reach out make it happen anyone out there knows locations want to make it happen we've had requests vaguely if I remember from Texas but not enough to make a an official visit but it's up to you you've got my email everything's in the description below connect us <clears throat> make the Amuna tour a reality and realize that we need that heavenly protection just like we know in this week's Pasha, Shabbos Chazak, we know that Yaakov was by the end was seemingly weak, but he strengthened himself to get that blessing, to get to bring that blessing to his children and to all the doyers, all the generations. And that would be very relevant for time right now. That we're Erev Esar Batavus, the tenth of Tavus. <clears throat> we're in the three days of darkness is brought down, that these days are days where there was darkness because one, the Torah is translated into Greek in a way that was taking the translation in a in an overly literal way and distorting the truth of the Torah and we've seen that that's happened for all the generations always been some sort of false way of representing the Torah and a distortion of the Torah the distortion of the truth of of Kodesh Baruch Hu, he revealed to us and then there's Ezra Novi was passed away during these three days he was the last of the Nevi'im last of the prophets and hopefully soon we'll be seeing prophet, the return of prophecy again but that's at the end of exile we'll see that return so until all this time we've had no prophets from the time of so that brought darkness that revelation of prophecy was no longer something that could just come through <coughs> individuals other than Ruch HaKodesh the Holy Spirit which thank God with righteous people in every generation we still get that but then we had the third day which is now approaching tonight and tomorrow a fast day and we fast the whole day tomorrow not in the night but we have the experience of the fast day and this represents the Tenth of Tavis with a whole beginning this is the beginning of all the tragedies, all the problems, all the difficulties of exile began on this day. <clears throat> As it says in the Svarim, in the Holy Svarim, that that's when Nebuchadnezzar and all the different enemies came to the walls of Yushalayim and began to siege. And that represents, once again, the destruction of those holy walls around us, that protect us, that enclave us, that give us the protection we need to be in this world. We have to have this this heavenly protection think about it as there's so much crazy stuff going on i mean i live right next to the area shaman sadik which has another name and there's been so many things going on there cars burning and riots and people god forbid being hurt and even killed and it's crazy i mean just up the road is the old city this is all happening we need these heavenly walls to protect us from these kind of tragic moments that have gone on historically and right now currently in the current stress of where we live <clears throat> and in New Shalim, and we have to pray for peace. Shalom Israel. This is a, <clears throat> my personal mission being a Kohen. There should be a priestly blessing that we should have peace on earth and an end to this tragedy. There should be communication, ability to connect. Thank God that's what I'm trying to do with these music events, these larger events, and bring together with our and the Unity Flow podcast and all the Yamuna classes and the Muna is our future podcast. Bring together a lot of actors, a lot of unity between different groups, even the different groups within Bressa, where sometimes <clears throat> there's a lot of competition. We have to realize, no, we're all working for Hashem, we're all working to bring the light. And that brings us to Rabbi Nossin. Rabbi Nossin was a student of of Rav Sh- Rav, Rabbi Nachman, Nachman, Rabbi Nachman ben Simcha, Rabbi Nachman ben Feger, Rabbi Nathan. He was the student, uh, the, the student of Rav Orish, the uh, sorry, of Rabbi Nachman, that brought down the light of Rabbi Nachman into all the students that we have now, like Rav Orish, and all the students we have amongst all the other groups, like Rav Chaim Kramer, and, Rav, and, and all the other groups of Bresa, Rav Nossam Maimon, all these holy Rabbonim that give us over so much light in the, in the Bresa world, especially in English, what we're talking about here, that we have the ability Please God, to understand that with that kind of light from Rabbi Nachman, there's the Orish of Mashiach, the light of Mashiach, the light that we experience of Hanukkah, comes through the Torah, in, through the students of such holy people like Rabbi Nachman and Rabbi Nossin, and we get to experience practical advice. Eitzes, how to serve Hashem, like Lukuti Alachos, is filled with practical advice, how to take the Shulchan Aruch and bring it alive with spiritual energy and light and fire, that it should light us up, it should protect us with the awe, this, this surrounding light. For me personally, when I first was returning to Hashem, 
<laughs> that was something which is very profound. I noticed that people have a light around them. If you look sensitively, people are surrounded. There's an aura, there's a light, an literal light around us. I mean, the, the fact that we have technology that can get the light of our souls through the spirituality, through the Torah, we talk about such righteous people and bring such revelations through the internet, and it should really glow global. It should grow globally, and it's an up, to, an up to us, each of us, to realize that this is a spiritual light that's going through the internet. The internet is just a tool for us to bring that light forth, and that's something that we're doing, working so hard on. And that wall of fire is a protection that we have, a homus ash, as it says in Hebrew, and Rav Simai Zilberberg brings down, this homus ash is the ash of the fire, the or, or show Avram, the or of, of the soul, the or of the, all the souls, because Avram had within him all the souls of the Jewish people and all the souls of the world. He was also the Avlegarium, he was the father of all the converts, and right now we see this light collecting together, this kibbutz, this unification of, of all the different souls, and this is up to us to tune into that, to open ourselves to the this, this gathering of souls that's taking place right now at the end of days, people are kind of returning back to the Holy Land, people online are returning to online communities that are healthy for them, that give them that spirituality, that's what we hope Breast of English will be and will always be and everything I'm personally I'm involved in, the Muna path, the path of unity souls, the idea that United Souls we have a, a point, a place of safe haven and we can come together and thank God there are now opportunities to even reach out to further places like one of our friends was on TED Talks, one of the guests we had there, Moshe Gersh, and we have the ability to go into new realms of influencing the light of Torah, spirituality, into the world. And that's one of the big appreciations we have for Chabad. They built these Chabad houses, these houses of fire in communities all around the world. I was just contacting someone in Hawaii today. Yeah, Chabad's in Hawaii, oh, well, Chabad's everywhere. You know, we have the power. Oh, someone wrote down, Kuti Maron. Yes, we have the power. And I, I do want to give a shout out for our YouTube um, cover picture to Marco Dashev. Marco Dashev, he's been giving us some beautiful, beautiful pictures from the Miami tour with Rav Oresh, which we were able to coincide with the Lighthouse Tour project and be able to have a collaborative experience and have some amazing photo shoot from Marco Dashev. And he's also phot photographed my artist, Nissan Black, which I organized a few years back. And please go, we have many opportunities for my new artists. As I've been mentioning, I'm now working with Shlomo Zionz. He's not a musician, he's a speaker, but he's going to have opportunity now to book Shlomo Zionz. Also, again, guests in our studio through me and myself, Baruch Hashem and Westside uh, Gravy was also able to make it out on the tour with Nisim and you can also book that artist. There's an opportunity to create a lot of positive events out there, both online and in person. And, and this is a power that we have through joining together, through working together. And I need your feedback. I need your collaboration. I can't do this alone. In the end, these events take place, thank God, due to people who are building beautiful organizations. They're building the fire around their community that protects their community and inspires their community. They're building those opportunities that gives us an online experience that once again is inspirational and not damaging. And we have the ability to create that kind of fire. The Eshla Harbor, the Yosef Asadik is finishing off the Chumash with, we take his his last Pesukim on this week's Parsha, before we say, Chazak, Chazak, Venis Chazak, which is interesting, three times Chazak, it's Gometra Moshe, we already see inside this Parsha, a hint of Moshe Rabbeinu, this, who's going to be leading us in the coming Shabbos, is a Shovavim, Shovavim Tat, this year it's Shovavim Tat, it's an extended Shovavim, which is, gives us that light of Yosef, and brings the Aaron of Yosef, the, that's the end of this week's Parsha, the Aaron of Yosef, the coffin of Yosef, a Sadiq, it brings us with the two eyes and the vav, as Rev, Rev, uh, Avram Monechai Izbi once taught me, this idea of the, the vav yud yud, this idea of the yud ke vav ke, this Gemetra 26, is bringing this part of ourselves. We have within us two yuds and a vav, this 10, 10, 6, 26. We have on our face a yud yud vav. We have the, with, the shame of vaya is with us, and it's Yosef Asad is bringing us that light through these past years now, through these winter times, which is more challenging, through the colder time, through this corona challenge, it still continues. We are 
going, breaking through, Poets Gedder, as Rav Oresh said yesterday. We're together with the light of Mashiach, Melech Mashiach, of Yehuda, Sadik, and also because we have Yosef and Yehuda together, they join the Melech Poets Gedder with Dovid and Melech's light as well. Gives us that light together to break down all the false walls and to erect walls of fire that build, rebuild Yushalayim, that rebuild each person's home, that rebuild the walls of the heart, where you should pray, you should constantly be praying and banging at those walls of those of, of Tefillah opening up new sharim, new gates, as the Rav spoke beautifully, that the idea of prayer, this is the Sheikh Hadash, this is the, the new song that we need to constantly put into our life, this new shah, this new gate of tefillah and prayer and dedication. My hope is, by learning together, we're going to round off now, there's a lot of, of, of awareness in these classes of the soul, and that we all need to increase that awareness of the soul it will give us energy it will help us with our family and our friends it will help us to be a better person i pray for all of us to be blessed with shalom bias peace in the home everyone should be blessed with a shabbos chazak i'll be in a frat i'll have your mind there hopefully please go with the family it should be with success where everyone should be blessed in everything they're doing we should have success in the studio we should work together realize that we're all together we need each other it's the yetzal wants us to not have avis as well not to work together but we have to be collaborative the light of Rami Nachman needs to be done to, to shared in a way that's universal and, and it's connecting all the different groups and all the different people. It's not a competition. We're all here together. And that's the hope that we'll have that unity within each group, within each larger group. Personally, as I put up on one of my statuses, a beautiful picture of the Tolna Rebbe. That's who I was by Hanukkah. Thank God I had the blessing to be there. We we understand that there's all different groups in, in the Jewish people. There's, there's all different men hugging, different customs. And in the world, as well, general customs that help guide humanity towards a good place. We mentioned already the Shev Mitzvah B'nai Noach have a universal source that can unite the world on a, in a moral way, in a in a loyal way, and it can give principles. There's so many, thank God, good voices out there. We listened to a guy called Zubi. I mentioned him previously. Ben Shapiro is also an interesting voice. A lot of good people out there without getting political, just tuning into the, the principles that they live by and how it impacts their life to be a better quality life. There's so many people out there. Joe Rogan as well even though like he seems like he talks like he says himself i'm a savage but he has there a lot of good principles a lot of love towards his friends and loyalty towards people can learn out from so many things so much good and track good zion good think good it will be good to remember that hashem is only looking out for our good and wanting to think good about us joseph asadik is only thinking good about his brothers even though everything that happened in these stories we had in the last few weeks that's the challenge between each other in the end we have to only think good, especially of the Sadiq, think good of our Chavayim, that we're all together, that we need to work together and build a, a picture that impacts the world with unity, with our, with our, each other. We need to think good of our spouse, we need to think good of our children, with souls, as YYJX we mentioned before. We need to have a good thought, even if people, for example, right now, there's one or two groups that are not sure they want to be associated or this and that. In the end, we're all associated on the inner level. We're all connected. There's a love, there's a respect, there's a covered, and uh, in a positive sense, and there's ability to join together. But remember that ultimately, Shema Yisrael, that we're going to join together with the big Shabbos Chazak, and we're going to hear that Shema Yisrael as Yaakov and Yosef unified last week, and again in this week's Pasha, when all the sons said Shema Yisrael, and that's where we get the minhag to say, Brok Shem And that in Shema Yisrael, six words connected to the six weeks we're going to be counting of Shabbatim coming after to the Shabbos, taking us away from this fast day, this difficult day that we're going into. Hopefully it'll be turned around to Sosim Simcha. We'll hopefully be in the new week. We'll already be in the base of Migdash. We'll see these fires, walls, these walls of fire that protect us on our online, that protect us in our homes, that protect our hearts, protect our souls. We'll see them manifest in the pure positivity that they represent. It says by Aaron Cohen that he was the, the sim and the sign of Anea Kovid, these clouds of glory that surround us and protects us. This is the kind of true fire, not a fire that burns and destroys. Fire that protects and gives warmth and light. This is the unair covered, the clouds of glory that surrounds us, that we are surrounded by light and we have a tremendous opportunity to share and impact that light in the world, to be an all agoyim, the all to all the nations. Everyone here has an opportunity on a weekly level to join us. Thank you again in the studio in Jerusalem. Share this light global partner 
join up with our Munatour online and in person, make it happen in your community. We're now deciding this is a time to build those tours. This is a time to build these classes. And I thank you again. Thank God everything's good. We thank Hashem Yisbarach, Toda Hashem, and we can't wait to see you again after beautiful Shabbos Chazak, Sunday hopefully in a Munatour class with the Rav, guests to be announced, and also myself to join you again on a weekly level. Please share. We'll be back in the studio at 3.30. It's Israel time, 8.30 American time. Remember, on the Tuesday after that, we'll have our course, United Souls. You can sign up to get that more practical outlook of everything we've discussed here on this, how to bring these concepts into everyday life. And we bless you all to have a wonderful, wonderful week ahead and be blessed to Shabbos Kodesh. A Shabbos Kodesh, which, please God, will just give, ah, oh, Oklahoma, people are reaching out. Maran is a Kosik from Reino, Rabbeinu, Harav Rabbi Nachman, meaning our master and teacher, Rabbi Nachman, that's right. And in the Schus and Merit of Rabbi Nossin, his student, who showed us how to be a true Talmud, a true dedicated student, no matter what, through fire and water, to truly be dedicated to the fire of, of, of the Siddiquim, of the, which was really the fire of the Torah and truth of our souls, of the unification of the world, our main vow. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Pleasure. Sharon. All the love.